Hello everyone, welcome to the channel and we are back in our base. I was missing the town, uh, I'm missing, I was, uh, had left for a couple of days for my, the championship of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, I was participating and now we're back and we took a new sneak peek about uh, the game and that sneak peek is this one, we're gonna watch it together here. It's mostly about uh, you guys. So. But you saw, we, we, we're getting Maya, guys. Yeah, we're getting Maya. And the point is, we're getting here as an awakened character. We already have her. So we're gonna get the uniform for Maya Lopez, you know, the girl who was playing in Hawkeye. And in the start she was a villain, but now, you know, if you have seen the series, you know, spoiler alert, but the series is out from December, so it's pretty much six months or something. So it's cool. And I decide to go through and get here as a playable character for at the moment is tier two, but we're getting here as an awakened character. So yeah, I was I like here in the show and now we're gonna get the uniform from the show. I'm pretty hyped and I want to, you know, I want to use here and play as Echo. So I'm going to unlock here with you and test here as a tier two character, like, uh, you know, the and complete my set of characters, of course, also uh, you're gonna you're gonna find out what I'm talking about in a kind of uh, in the next seconds, you know. And here we are. I'm not going to rank her up now, but what I was talking about is my stats here. I was having 248 character and I was missing one echo. So now I get here and I'm going to complete, you know, having all the character of the game, you know, it's a collector game, so you have to collect every single Pokemon, I mean character, and yes, uh, the new character is here and, you know, the most efficient, you know, way to do it is use a rank a six mega rank up ticket or normal tickets because these bios are really expensive you're you know you need to pay you know for here bios is premium character so you want to spend you know the the rank up tickets on here the tier two tickets on here so yeah the best way is this way using a six star go here at you're you're letting here level one and when it, when she's hitting level 60 you're going through here advancement tickets and you're pressing that and you're fine you're just uh, you know you're wasting your tier mega tier two advancement ticket but with this way you don't need here bios for here gears and that's the real pain to get here bios from 15 to 20 that's the most the, the most difficult thing for doing a character tier 2, you know, the rest of the stuff you're gonna figure out with rank up tickets and stuff but if I if I said, you know, yeah, I'm not going to sacrifice my mega advancement ticket here, I have only one uh, if, I, if I save it, uh, there's a, you know, I have to wait for another character and you want to use them on premium characters so there's no way there's other premium character soon enough that I'm gonna be out of this and if there is one I, that's why I took the pack for one month, so I'm going to collect bios for the new character is going to come and I don't go and then I'm gonna gear up him with uh, the rolling system, you know, so yes, I'm sacrificing this and having her tier 2 because I want to unlock her potentials also before the update drops so when the update gonna drop, I'm gonna be ready to showcase her to you guys as a new awaken character and see here firepower as an awaken so at the moment we're gonna use here as a tier 2 character in the world boss uh, ultimate we have the chance to do and let's collect these crystals also now i'm uh, kind of you know i'm free to play generally uh, basically no there's no free to play i'm uh, i'm spending less than uh, i used to do one year before for sure i'm going only for tss 
and perhaps the heroic quest thing here that just you're getting you know this tip thing here only these two per month and now it was an exception because I really like Echo and it's the only character I'm missing and I took a gold medal yesterday so I'm doing a gift to myself so yeah <laughs> Uh, yes, we're ready. We have the character and let's see here output. Let's try to build here a bit. See as kind of as you see is going to be a DPS for sure for sure. I'm not going to build here as uh, how it's called as a PvP character. I'm going to build here as a PvE character to test here firstly. So I want to roll the set here into Hawkeye this three is the best thing to use for PvE World Boss Legend, ABX, GBR, DRX, no there, that's there's nothing like DRX you know people just start watching the MFF videos gonna find out there is nothing sounds like danger room extreme or danger room at all it's a game mode like dinosaurs. We, we know the name, you know, dinosaur, but we never saw them. <laughs> Perhaps there's gonna be a book for of the history saying about Dirax and Danger Room Extreme uh, used to be a really enjoyable game mode that they removed because uh, some people didn't enjoy them or something like that. I'm not sure. They didn't really tell us anything. They just took out the toy out of our hands and tell us that uh, it's broken but they didn't tell us if they are gonna fix it uh, so guys what you're going to do with our toys that you just took from us so yes, scene is physical attack in general so I want to give here physical attack Urus, uh, I mean ISOs Cause I have a lot of physical attack that I'm not using, I think. Yes. Like this. Let's go. So here there is no physical attack at the red one. We are we all know. So the best case scenario is uh overdrive for me, cause I'm missing some critical rate and critical damage. With Hokai you're getting more cooldown. And with uh okay, let's go crazy. And let's give here a full ISO <laughs> but I'm not going to spend that f here so yes physical attack is cool it's all defense but I'm not going to do anything crazy with here like ABX I think at the moment or you know world boss legend uh, progressing so let's give here all defense dodge good weight it's already rank 6 so that's the best you could have you know rank 6 after rank 6 it's only the percentage I'm getting the stats I need to have maxed so as you can see I already have the character full max out because of my cards he sees missing critical damage and critical rate but we could fix that through oh it's already critical damage so I'm not going to change that and let's try to amplify here here gears here uh it's already 15 that's the point okay four four is cool you don't want to go crazy with this stuff you know you can spend a lot of gold without even needed you know one spot on your urus doesn't make doesn't gonna make any huge difference of course if you play high level pvp or pv like ABX, like Timeline Battle, like Alliance Tournament, Alliance Conquest, that things matter. Or, uh, you know, go for high rank on a character, that things matter. But in generally, in like 99% uh, of the players playing this game, 4 slots amplified is cool, guys. Don't spend more than one. You know, here I was unlucky, I didn't get it with the first try. But in general, 4, four slots is easy. So get the four slots and let the fifth. Let's uh, let me show you how to build general a character, guys. You want to, you know? I know that it's physical attack the stats he needs. So let's go for two physical attack. It's oh, I used the six star. What a boomer! I don't want to use the six stars. 
If I need to build here from 5 star to 6 star, I can use the 5 star I already have, I have 37. But the 6 star themselves are only 5, so I want to save them. Which, where I didn't use, okay, here. Let's go for this, let's go for this. And C is cool. I'm not going um, something to do something more. Yeah, I don't feel it. So yes, let's let here here. I'm going to. Okay, let's go crazy with your skills. Let's go full on fire damage. Okay, that smells like a fire damage proc obelisk. I'm going to use perhaps double fire damage and 140 or fire damage and 200 proc. So let's build here. Let's go for something like, uh, no, where's the fire damage? Yeah, fire damage, 200 proc, double fire damage. Okay, only two fire damage. Okay, somewhere there is some fire damage. Seeing us and making fun of us. Okay, look at this. Fire damage and 200 proc. But it's only 20%. Okay, here we are. Another fire damage. Oh, it's the one from before. Okay, double fire damage and 140 proc. Feels cool. I mean, using a 200 proc just for testing and give here after a CTP is not a good idea. So let's go crazy with here fire damage and let's see if it's worth it. Okay, I built here already. I'm ready for here. Okay, I give here that, that. Okay, let's go here also and let's give here. Okay, order is the one you need. So, it's not going to do any huge difference. Okay, just, okay, I'm confused. Let's see, I think it's order. Oh, it's justice. So let's check out anything good with justice. Cruelty order. Okay, it's with an order here. So let's see. It's only one justice and it's with dots. No, there's no way. Oh, another justice. Yes, another justice. Okay, that's what I need basically. Increase damage. Okay, I think uh, the characters, the world boss, legend and ultimate got pure evil so let's give here that and some justice and let's see here ranking uh here stats it's really cool 2400 2000 basically 24000 i mean yeah? and here skills here skills you know she got guarding dodge raid that's cool and she got a heal she got burns everywhere, she got paralysis for ABX, of course, and she got accumulation on her third skill, so you want to use the third skill first of all, and it's accumulating the damage you're doing, so you don't need to take damage, you just want to accumulate the damage. So it's like, it's most like 3, cancel 5, cancel 3, cancel 4, but let's see the, how the, how the skills works, and... Third skill gives you the accumulation right away, as you can see, but you are getting an extra buff after a while, and it's the accumulation buff, so yes, it's the same. So you're pressing 3, cancel 5, having here jump here, and doing the fourth skill to proc. That feels the best for me, guys. And yes, of course, you can use, let's do my face a bit smaller to be easier to control the character. So doing that, that, and that. That's the best case scenario for me. Proking on this fourth skill feels really cool. Uh, but let's find out. Let's find out what's going to be the case for World Boss Legend. And in the fifth skill, you're getting the buffs right away. So yes, you could either proc on that. There is, as you can see, a lot of hits, but... I feel like this 4th skill got the most hits. Perhaps the 5th skill, if you let it play until the end, you, you know, it's cool, it's cool cancelling it. 
3, cancel 5, wait a bit for the 5th skill to drop here, and after cancel the 4th skill. That's gonna be the best case scenario for a rage or, or judgment, you know? 3, delay cancel 5, and 4. But now, with this, with this, with the proc, it's kind of hard, so I'm going to do 3, cancel 5, cancel 4, and proccing on the 4th skill. So, she got fire damage and physical attack. That makes here possible attacking to all world boss legends. Why? What I'm talking about? It's like you know, Ebony got. Uh, you're having an advantage against Ebony if you're using characters with uh, uh, how it's called um, elemental damage, like fire, like gold, like all these kind of damages. So yes, she's de she's doing fire damage, but it's physical. And uh, perhaps she's not going to do the maximum damage she could. Okay, she's, she's a blast type, right? Yes, blast type. And let's go for something like uh, this one. No, let's go for combo type Valkyr. Yes, let's go this thing. Here, leadership, it's not useful. It is useful, my mistake. <laughs> but... Uh, Perhaps using this and giving you 15% more critical rate. Now I am all other capped. It's gonna work better. But yes, let's go with here on leadership. Heal leadership is dope for fighting characters. It's first time I'm testing the character. I just unlock it. As you can see, I never saw a review video or something from other content creators. Because I was like, you know. Why check out a new toy that you can't go awaken or tier 3 with here? So I was uh, so sabotaging this character, but now she's getting an awaken. So yeah, cool. <laughs> I'm going to play with that toy also. So yeah, let's see. Let's try to do the rotation I said to you. Let him jump here. Yes, you should wait every single time here. Okay, I'm proccing on the fourth skill. Doesn't seems like works really cool. Let's see to do the opposite and proccing on the fifth skill instead of the fourth skill. But no, there's no damage, guys. Am I doing something really wrong? I, I wonder. Oh, it's like the physical damage disadvantage. Yeah, sure. Sure thing. That's the case. The physical damage disadvantage. Look at these numbers. It's not the numbers you could do. So yes, my theory, uh, it's uh, already got busted there. I used to play with Namor, and Namor's tier 3 is working really cool, even without, I was doing that, even without the 25 peers. But as you can see here, damages here, it's mostly physical as it seems. He's getting damage because I have high peers, and you know, I'm having all these buffs and all these things, but... You can't really do that. You uh, let's see against Proxima. I bet she's going to do huge amount of damage. Let's go for Proxima. But yes, you know, if the character was stayed tier two, there's no way you can use this character proper. You know. But now we have to consider. We have to consider. Do we not? Do you want a character to just do the same you're already doing? Probably not. I hope once they give here the when they give here the awaken, they're gonna make her doing huge amount of damage. Because at the moment I'm not seeing her in the top 30, let's say. You know, Ultron, perhaps it's in top 30 of the DPS against World Boss Legend and World Boss Ultimate. But this girl here, she's gonna struggle. I was doing the same content with Namor. Of course, Namor had a CTP of raids, and raids use, you know, works really cool against the World Boss Ultimate because they do their defense minus. But still, a character in 2022 just came. It should be doing damage against Ebony. You know, you want a character to clear every single, uh, every single World Boss, even if the, he has immunity in fire damage. But let's see against Ebony here, I mean against Proxima, you can see the proc here is really bigger, it's 2.5 proc, it's 2.5 bars, 
and let's see here yes look at this this is beautiful and i like the animation it's pretty much let's like president loki's fourth skill president loki fourth skill was really it's really cool because there is a lot of time you could proc on you know the the skill takes too too long time to end so okay proxima hates me as it seems look at this skill bro here passive is really amazing and yes, you can really clear that. Okay, okay. She died. But the damage is there, guys. I mean, no one is going to do that uh, against play, you know, against Proxima and against World Boss Late Ultimate generally because everyone wants to have the final, you know, the World Boss Legend. Everyone wants to play World Boss Legend to get more CCF, to get more out of their progress for conquer level of its world boss legend it's really important the conquer level in world boss legend and that's the thing you're increasing only by playing the specific uh, content like ultron if you play ultron your ultron getting easier for you so you want to progress the conquer level of ultron to get to get easier so no one is playing this world boss because you don't really need the tier 3 materials that you know you don't really need just to farm world boss ultimate you need to take something more out of it even if you play stage 1 ultron is way better than stage 99 of this world boss because conquer level is increasing and the world boss legend is getting easier for you and that's the end game content you want to play the game until the end you know high level at least for me guys you know i that's why I'm doing the channel and stuff, because I want to play the game until, you know, the highest level it's possible. I'm getting excited by trying to compete myself and the top ranking in each game mode. Even Alliance Conquest, no, okay, Alliance Conquest doesn't, doesn't matter for me. <laughs> but, I mean, ABX, Timeline Battle, yes, I want. PvP and PV, I want to be on the top. But Alliance Conquest is kind of lame, okay. I like it, but sometimes. Now we are losing, so I don't like it. This week, the guys are having problem with this. I, I didn't help a lot also, because I was in the championship. I was traveling again. But, yeah, the difference between us and the other two teams, it's huge. They are having, like, double or triple scores than us. In Alliance Conquest. And you can see, see, it's possible to clear, you know, even if you're crazy and you don't want to invest in her for Awaken and having her only for tier 2. She's cool, bro. With proc, she can do stage 99 of World Boss Ultimate easy peasy, as you can see. And the fourth skill has the paralysis. So in the in the end, you're getting this paralysis effect. She's stacking there. The world boss ultimate, they are not moving at all. There is the diminishing returns, you know, every single time. The paralysis, count, uh, it's for less time. But still, you can freeze the boss and clear it without even having any problem, you know, dying or stuff. And let's try to stay alive here. Let's stay inside this. Okay, we did paralysis again the boss with the second skill. Look at this paralysis. She has so much stun lock, you can have the boss staying there and not doing anything. I'm not using any strikers for this effect, you can see. Let's try to mix up the rotations here, let's see, yes. Ending the proc on the 4th skill seems to be the best, guys. I'm trying different rotations here just to see, but yes, he's immune now. He's immune on everything, because he is getting nervous. He's getting crazy, basically. Look at this. He's going for me. He wants to kill me. Come on, Calobzidian. Chill. Chill, bro. You can clear him. Easy peasy, bro. With, you can play against Proxima. You can play against Calobzidian. Of course, Thanos going to be a challenge with a tier 2 character, you know. But yes, still, against Super Giants, he's gonna perform pretty much the same 
uh, as Call Obsidian, they both have a lot of uh, defenses. But I'm not going to test here even more because you know doesn't really matter i'm going to test here as an awakened character i'm going to realize here potentials level 70 and everything gonna roll when she's going to get her update and her new uniform that's for me guys i'm going to do some more testing see if i was wrong about the rotation in other uh, sorry i mean others youtubers other youtubers so yes that's for me, I hope I make you smile and get you updated in the last uh, sneak peek stuff and the character we are going to get an advantage on it. That's cool because she already needs an advantage and we just took her. That's for me, bye bye to everyone and I hope I make you smile and don't sleep on my giveaway for the 10 TSS. We're close, we passed the 800 subscribes, cheers to everyone. And we want to go in 1000. That's what I was saying in the end of this video in the description. But we are close. We're close and we're gonna give away.